Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizzo with BuildBox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a UI animation for your main menu UI. And it's going to look a little something like this. Okay, so we've got a real basic uh, game UI here. I just created a game called Bolt uh, just off the top of my head. And what I'm going to show you how to do is create this, this pulsing uh, scale animation here in the middle for the play button, which draws the player's attention in. And, uh, and then I'm also going to show you how to add a waterfall effect to your UI buttons down here like this. And it's really, really simple. And let me show you how to do it right now. So first thing I'm going to do is I need to get rid of the animations that I've already created. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select these green markers down here. And I'm going to delete them from the animation. So I've got that for my play button. That's already taken care of. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete these as well. OK, and that's for these other UI buttons down here. And it takes no second. It takes no time at all. You just grab the little markers here, and you just press the delete button. OK, so it's real simple. OK, cool. Oops, I accidentally deleted the button. All right, perfect. Just needed to delete the animation markers. OK, cool. Let's, uh, let's check to make sure that there is no more animation right now. And let's see if that's working. OK, cool. So you can see right now that the UI is just stagnant. It's not moving around or doing anything special right now. So let me show you how to add a little bit of animations to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how to do that pulsing play button in the middle, which I really recommend. It's going to probably get you a little bit more clicks, and people are going to play the play button a little bit faster. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hit this record button until it turns red down here in the bottom. And then the thing that you want to do is you want to select the item that you want to animate in the UI. And then I'm going to go over here to scale. And I'm just going to hit Enter on my keyboard. And what it's going to do is it's going to create this little green marker here. And so now you know it's a placeholder for your animation. All right, now I've also got the uh, frames over here uh, set up so that there are 80 frames. Uh, I don't know if you can see that right down there. So there's 80 frames total. So you kind of need to separate it based off of how many frames you have. And I also have a looping turned on right here. You can see that I've got this little loop button uh, set up. And so what that's going to do is it's going to loop it and it's going to keep the animation playing. So, um, so I made a little marker down here in the bottom left so that it's going to stay that first scale, uh, uh, keep that aspect ratio right there in the beginning. And then I'm also going to go to 80 frames and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go over here to scale and just hit enter on my keyboard okay and that's going to create a second little place marker now when we go to the middle to the 40th uh, marker there uh, 40th frame this is where you want to change the scale and I'm going to change it to 1.2 um, and 1.2 on both, so it's going to get a little bit bigger. Okay, now let me go ahead and just play this for you right now so that you can see it. So I'm going to turn off the record button, and then you can hit the play button right there, um, and you can preview it in BuildBox, um, and you can see it right here. It's uh, it's pulsing. Um, or you can also, if you want to see it a little bit bigger, you can hit your play button, um, and it's going to uh, show up in the preview window as well. Okay, so uh, now that is also, uh, keep in mind, this is for the idle and animation. There's also uh, animations for the open event and also the close event, OK? But this is for when uh, you're, so you might want to do something special for when you're opening or a special animation for when you're closing. But for this, this is just like that regular idle animation that you want going with while the player is deciding which button to press. OK, so that's the play button, all right? And that's pretty simple. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the record button again. And I'm going to select this little button down here. And I'm going to make this one be animated. Animated, okay, so it's very similar, really, really similar setup to the play button. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna go to 10, or right, I'm gonna go to my 10th frame, and I'm gonna go over here to scale, and then I'm just gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna go over here to 20, and I'm also gonna hit enter on the scale, and that's just gonna keep the one to one ratio right there, all right, and then at the 15th frame, this is where I'm gonna make it go to 1.2. Okay, and I'm going to do it 1.2, 1.2, and that's what works for me. You might want to scale it up to a different scale, and that's fine. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this marker right there where it gets a little bit bigger, and this is what's going to create the waterfall effect. 
um, I'm going to now select the next button that I want to animate. Okay, and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to leave the marker right where it's at, and then I'm going to hit scale. I'm going to hit enter real quick, and I'm going to go here to 25 as well, and then I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to keep that one to one ratio right there on the scale. All right, and then I'm going to go to the 20th marker, and then this is where I'm going to make the scale go up to 1.2 and 1.2 in the X and the Y. Okay, so once again, I'm going to just kind of keep uh, keep going with this. I'm going to hit my next button. I'm going to hit scale. I'm going to hit enter. I'll go over here to 30. I'm going to go to 10. Go 10 more frames. I'm going to hit enter as well, and then I'm going to go to the 25th frame, and then I'm, this is where I'm going to make it go uh, to 1.2 and 1.2 and scale it up a little bit. All right, and then last one. Uh, I got this last button down here at the bottom, and I'm going to just hit one and one one more time on my keyboard. I'll go to the 35th frame, and I'll also hit one and one, one and one again. And then now I'm going to go to the 30th frame and make it 1.2 and 1.2. Okay. Cool, so we should be good. This uh, should handle it, and it's gonna loop, so it's just gonna keep playing over and over again once it gets to the idle animation. So let's take a look at what we've got now. Okay, so the opening animation happens, and then this is what you're gonna see for the idle animation. All right, so you've got that pulsing play button, and then you got kind of like a waterfall effect with the buttons on the bottom, which is kind of nice. And there's definitely going to be buttons on your main menu UI or your game over UI that you want to draw the player in. Maybe it's a reward button. Maybe it's a, you know, a video reward button where they can get some coins for watching an advertisement. Or maybe you want to draw the player in for the remove ads button so that they can spend a little bit of money and spend an in-app purchase so that you can they can get rid of ads. And then and also you get a little bit of money for your uh, for your developer account okay so I hope this video was useful it's a good idea to use animations like this to draw the player in and to focus the player in on certain parts of your UIs so um, I hope this video was useful if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this then please like this video and subscribe to our channel all right boxers see you later and happy Memorial Day bye like and subscribe